Facebook shops is Facebook's big step into the e-commerce scene. And with that, you have the chance to create your own online store on Facebook shops and enjoy all of the free organic traffic that Facebook has to offer. This is great news for us dropshippers. That is why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Facebook shop store and learn how to do everything step by step from account creation to product research, to importing your products, to knowing what to sell, how to sell and how to automate all of this together so that you can scale your business and make huge profit it's at the end of the month. Facebook shops, huge feature coming up. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back to this full tutorial on how to create a Facebook shop store and a successful one at that, that we can actually make some sales and profit and scale. To start off, for those of you who don't know, Facebook Shops allows you to host an online store on both Facebook and Instagram. And you can also sell your products through WhatsApp, Messenger and Instagram, and also tag your products during Facebook and Instagram live events. So your customers can check out on your online store while you're hosting a live event. And that is just another one of the many features that you have when running a Facebook shop store. On the other hand, you also have Facebook marketplace, which is a marketplace for many buyers and many sellers can buy and sell their items, but it is not as organized as the Facebook shops with all of the commerce tools that you need, including sales, marketing, promotions, analytics tools, and more. Now, before we start, it's important to note that this feature is available to US citizens. Anyone who lives in the United States has a social security number, a US registered business, and a US bank account. So if you do not have all four of those, Facebook shops, currently is not right for you. If you do meet the pre-requirements, let's move on and learn how to create a successful Facebook shop store. Step number one, before you get started, you need to learn the ground rules and know what you can do and what you cannot do as an online seller on Facebook shops. And for that, there are two guidelines for you to follow. One is Facebook's merchant agreement and the other is Facebook's e-commerce policies. Here is a quick overview of what they both look like, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be linking these two right below this video so that you can read them after watching this video and simply get to know what the rules, what the do's and don'ts, with what you can and cannot do and what you can and cannot sell. So make sure that you are aware of Facebook's rules. It's not too strict. And even if you try selling a product that you're not allowed to sell and you're using the AutoDS system, you have that extra layer of protection where you try to import a product that you're not allowed to because of trademark and other reasons, you will get a warning. So you don't really have to worry much about what you cannot sell, but it is very important to know what Facebook's rules are, what they allow and what they don't allow. For example, if you are running pay-per-click ads and you have before and after photos, there are many things that they do not allow in those before and after images. And that is just one small example. So just make sure that you are aware of Facebook's commerce rules. Step number two is to create a Facebook business page. And this should come before anything else that you do. Without a business page, you cannot connect your Facebook e-commerce store to it. So what we're going to do first is create a business page. And before you create a business page, you wanna make sure that you have a business manager up and running. So if you don't have one yet, once again, follow the link below this video to opt into the Facebook business manager. The link will direct you to this page, how to create a business manager. Click on the link under create a business manager, which takes you to business.facebook.com slash overview. And this is how you can create your business account in your business manager. Now, of course, none of this costs any money. You simply need to register with your information. And once you created the Facebook business manager, or if you already have one, simply make sure that you are the admin or that you are an admin of that business manager. Then you can proceed to creating a Facebook business page. Once again, link right below this video. That will take you to this explanation on how to create a business page, but it's actually very straightforward. And we also have a full tutorial guide on it on our free Shopify course. Even if you don't want to learn Shopify under this free course, you have a tutorial on how to create a Facebook page. So what you want to do is head over to autods.com, hover over resources and click on dropshipping courses, click on the Shopify course, enroll in this course. And if you scroll down on the lessons here on the right, you have a lesson right here on how to set up a Facebook page. So wherever you want to learn about it, whether on our courses page 
or on Facebook, that would be your next step. Here's a Facebook page that I created under my Facebook business account for demo purposes to show you how to do it. It's actually very simple and what you want on your page is to simply stand out what you are trying to sell or what niche your store is under. So in this case, if you want to have a pet store or a dog store, then you want to have a nice cover image of your niche with a good looking logo, which I'll show you soon how you can create it absolutely for free. And everything else that you see here, you want to create posts, you want to be able to engage with your audience. And this is also going to get you organic traffic to your store because your page links to your store. So after we went over the commerce policies, the merchant agreement, we know what the rules are and we created our Facebook business manager and our Facebook business page and the two are now linked together. Our next step is to create and configure our Facebook commerce manager. Once again, the link to log in or to create your commerce manager will be right below this video. When you click on it, it'll take you to this page right here. So this is where I can actually create my Facebook shop store. What I'm going to do is click on get started. Then I'm going to choose create a shop. Start selling on Facebook, Instagram, or both. And as you can see here, I can click on Instagram to see what it'll look like there or on Facebook to see what it will look like there. So here's just a brief overview of what you're about to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Now you need to select what page you want to connect to your commerce store. So remember, we created the Facebook business account. That was the first step. Then we created our Facebook business page and connected it to our business account. Now we are creating our Facebook shop, which will be connected to our Facebook page, which is connected to our Facebook business manager. And you can also integrate with Shopify. So if you have a Shopify store, you can synchronize it with your Facebook shops and grab all of the products that you have on your Shopify store to be also sold and integrated with your Facebook shop. So that is a great feature to have. But for now, I'm going to continue without that for those who want to sell exclusively on Facebook shops. I'm going to scroll down to checkout method and click on change. Now, here we have the checkout options for our buyers. So when someone enters a product listing on my shop, I can either direct them to another website. Like, for example, if I connected my Shopify website and I only want them to purchase there, then I can tell Facebook shops to check out on another website. So if the customer wants to purchase from my store, they can only do it through Shopify. So they have a link from my Facebook shop to my Shopify store. But in this case, I want to sell exclusively on Facebook shops and I want the customer to have the checkout experience and the checkout process inside of Facebook. So what I'm going to do here is go with the second option, check out with Facebook or Instagram. And once again, this will give the buyer the ability to check out on my Facebook shop store instead of linking to my Shopify store or anywhere else. You also have the option to turn on shop pay by Shopify as a payment method. Even if you're not selling on Shopify, this simply opens up more payment methods and can and will eventually increase your sales conversion. You will see that it says only available for US based businesses. And this is what we just talked about a couple of minutes ago. So make sure that your business is located in the US and that you have a US bank account. Otherwise, none of this is going to work. You also have another option. Check out with messaging. This way, the buyer will have to send you a message and then you'll have to direct them somewhere else to continue with the checkout process. But these aren't as practical as allowing the buyer to check out inside your Facebook shop. So I'm going to go with this option and click on next. Now we have a quick overview of everything that we chose. So my sales channel is going to be that doggy dog world shop. My checkout method is going to be on Facebook or Instagram, which is great because then they can simply check out. I'll get paid by Facebook and I can ship out my item to my buyer. And here's a quick promotion that Facebook is giving any seller who joins Facebook shops and sells there until the end of the year. Selling fees are waived through December 31st, 2022. Once again, only available for businesses located in the US. So right now there are no selling fees whatsoever. 0% transaction fees. This is because Facebook wants to get as many sellers, as many merchants as they can to join Facebook shops. They're looking for dropshippers like you and I to join their e-commerce system, especially now when we can make the highest amount of profits without paying Facebook any fee whatsoever. No monthly subscription and no transaction fees. Our next step is to set shipping and returns. So as you can see, you can offer standard shipping, you can offer expedited shipping, and you can offer rush shipping. In this case, I would go with standard or expedited depends on what suppliers we're using and how fast we can ship out our products to our US customers. Then we have the return information. So first you have the return window. How many days you want to give your buyer a chance to return the item 
once they receive it. So you want to give them the same thing that your suppliers are giving you. For example, if you're dropshipping an item from a US supplier that gives you 30 day returns, then you want to offer the same to your buyer and keep it at a 30 day return window. Then you have your business email. So leave your email address right here, whatever email address you want to use for incoming messages from your buyers and your customer service email. So if there's a different email between the business and the customer service, write down those two different emails. They can also be the same email address. Then you wanna click in by submitting your shop for review, your agree to our seller agreement. Of course, go through it at least quickly and make sure that everything is fine. Then go ahead and click on finish setup. Your store will go through a verification process with Facebook. And if all is well, the next step is to enter in your billing information. Now I can't walk you through this process because I already did it on my Facebook store but I can tell you everything that you had to fill out there. Your business category and business type, your business address in the US, your US bank account details to get payouts from Facebook, your state tax registration number, your federal tax identification number, and a business representative's personal or business identification. It can even be yours. Now that we have our Facebook business accounts, our Facebook business page, we connected the two together and we have a good looking page that corresponds with what we want to sell with our store's niche. Now it's time to start adding products. This is how to do so. On Facebook's main page, on the left side, you want to click on pages. Then you'll see all of the pages that you manage. I'm going to click on the relevant page for me. So in this case, it's my bookshop. And here is the Facebook page created for my bookshop. This is of course connected to the Facebook business page. And I have a Facebook shop created on top of that. So what I'm going to do here while on this page on the left side, I'm going to click on manage shop. Here I have the option to preview my shop, edit my shop, add products or go back to the commerce manager and add even more shops if I want to. You can definitely have more than one, but you wanna start with one, take it slow, start making your sales and you work your way up from there. So I'm gonna click on preview shop really quick just to show you an overview. It is not a fully finished store. This is one of the demo stores that we created, but it's already making some sales. And this is a quick overview of how the shop will look if you simply do not optimize it too much. So you have all of the products on this one page. And of course your customers can go to them and purchase each and any one of them and they won't have to go out to any other website or have any other way of doing it except for being able to check out on your store. Here I can click on edit shop and here as you can see the layout looks much better. So I've got the main product, a men's silicone ring and then we have the suggested for you. So these are more products that I'm selling on this store. So as you can see, we've got this dry shampoo. We've got the solar string lights. It's not really a bookshop. As you can see, you can always change the title. You can always change your store's concept. What you want to do is research as many products as you can see what starts to sell, see what moves quickly. And those products that start to sell, you want to multiply your success by adding more products that are similar to the one that you sold while continuing to test out the market for more products, more categories, and more niches. So as you see, I'm selling a lot of products that are very dropshipping friendly, like these alarm clocks and more rings and a moon lamp galaxy and all of these medium to high ticket products. Here's what it actually looks like on the customer's mobile device. So these stores are mobile friendly and Facebook does this for you automatically. You don't have to have any coding skills. You don't have to have any HTML skills and you don't need to have too much user interface skills. All you need to do is add products to your store and allow Facebook to work its magic. Now, what I can do here on the left is change what I'm seeing on the right. For example, what products I'm seeing. I can add more images. I can change the way that we see them. I can click here on add new to add a new collection or add a new product. I can change the way it looks. Do I want it to be dynamic? Do I want it to be static? Do I want to show suggested for you? Do I want to add another featured collection? So you can do many things here, but step number one is first to have products on your Facebook shop. So back at the manage shop page, I have the button right here to add products. Now, after clicking on it, you see that Facebook took me to my catalog where you can see all of the products that I'm selling on my Facebook shop store. Here's where you can add more items. Right now I've got 137 items in 684 different variations. Now, of course, you cannot really handle all of this manually because with over 600 variants or even over 100 variants, you won't really be able to go to your suppliers websites every day and see if the price changed or if the stock status changed. And even when importing them to your store, 
this is a time consuming task. So it's gonna take you a lot of time to import so many products to your store. And then it's gonna take you even more time to check out every day if the price is changing or if the stock change on your supplier's website so that you can make the same changes on your store. In order to wrap all of this up in one automation package solution, the next step is to sign up to AutoDS at autods.com, start your trial, connect your Facebook shops to AutoDS and start automating your product imports, price and stock monitoring, and more. You can also import your untracked products. So if you already have a Facebook shop store and now you wanna join AutoDS, you can still connect the products that you have and begin business automation. This is how it's done. In order to begin business automation for the Facebook shops, step number one is to head over to autods.com and register for your account. Click on start now and enter your details. Since I already entered mine, I can already log in to the system and this is what you'll see when you log in for the first time. The first thing that you wanna do is add a store. So here on the top left, I'm gonna click on my stores. In this case, you're gonna see that I have several stores, some eBay stores, some Shopify stores, but what we wanna do now is add a Facebook store. While you're on the sign up process, make sure that you choose a Facebook Marketplace subscription account. What you can do is head over to the settings on AutoDS and on the plans and add-ons, make sure that you have the Facebook Marketplace plan active. Then we're gonna click on the stores on the top left and add our Facebook store. Make sure that you're logged into your Facebook store while you're doing this to make the connection process easier and faster and also to add the extension, which we will talk about soon. So I'm logged into my Facebook account on the one hand, I'm logged into my AutoDS account on the other, and now I'm going to click on add store. Under select store type, I'm gonna go with Facebook store and click on continue. Now I have two different options, Facebook shops and Facebook marketplace. In this scenario, we're going with Facebook shops. Now I'm being prompted to choose a Facebook shop. So if you have more than one Facebook shop active on your commerce manager, right here on Facebook, then you will see more than one option. In this case, I only have this option. I logged into my Facebook account with a beauty inside Facebook shop store. So that is exactly what I'm going to add here. And that is what I should see on this drop down menu. So I'm going to choose that store and click on done. After you choose your shop from the drop down menu, choose a business account. The drop down menu should have all of your options, all of the business accounts that you have connected to Facebook. Then click on next. Next, choose the catalog where you want to import your products automatically. Click on the drop down menu to see all of your catalogs and choose the right one. When done, click on add store. Now, when I want to add a product, I will see that store store as an option. So as you see here, when you add a product, it asks you where you want to publish this product to. I'm going to scroll down after eBay, after Shopify, I will also have Facebook. So here you see that I have one Facebook store, Beauty Inside. So that is a store that I just added right now. And it already has seven products inside. So I may see them as untracked products if you're adding it for the first time. And like I explained earlier, you can synchronize your untracked products with your suppliers so that AutoDS will know who the supplier is and be able to support price and stock monitoring for those products. This brings me to the next section, how to actually enable all of the great automation settings that you have at your disposal. So in order to get the price and stock monitoring to work, what you wanna do is download and install the Marketplace Dropshipping Helper extension. So all you have to do is go to Google Chrome and type down Facebook Helper Auto DS and click on the first search result, taking you to the Chrome Web Store. And here you're going to click Add to Chrome. Then we're gonna click Add Extension and right now, this Marketplace Dropshipping and Helper is being installed on my Chrome browser. Okay, so now the installation process is complete and I can see the extension up here. I'm going to pin it so that we'll be able to see it right up here, the Marketplace Dropshipping Helper extension. Now, in order for this to work, you wanna be signed into your AutoDS account. So enter your details. Now that we have our store connected, the next step is to add products to our stores. Here's how to do it in one of multiple ways that you have on the AutoDS platform. First, you have the single product importer. So if I click on add products, you'll see that we have single product. That's what I just clicked on to show you the example. Then you have multiple products that can go under one store or that can go to multiple stores. And those are the two methods that we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's start with the single product importer. For this, you're going to have to know what products you wanna add. And for that, we're gonna to have to go through the product research phase. I'm going to talk about that right after showing you how to import products quickly to your store. But let's just say that we have our first product that we wanna sell. And let's say that this product is coming from 
Amazon. I'm just gonna go to the bestseller section because this is one of my most favorite methods to find bestsellers, which we will talk about very, very soon. Now let's go under pet supplies and let's add these dog poop bags as an example. So what I'm going to do is enter the product page as you see right here. And now I can simply grab the product URL, copy it, head back to the AutoDS platform and paste it under single product importer. Before I do that, I'm going to change the store that I wanna to publish to because right now it's trying to publish to my eBay store. So I'm just going to scroll down and and choose my Facebook store. Okay, so now we have the published to on Beauty Inside. I'm going to add the product URL, the suppliers, Amazon, the region is the United States. Then we're gonna click on edit now quick so that I can optimize the product, but I can also publish it directly to my store. But let's see how quick the process is. So I clicked on edit now quick, and in less than a second, the product is already ready on our drafts page. Here you can optimize the product before adding it to your Facebook shop store. For example, the product's title, the tags that you wanna have on it, the product's description, the automation settings, the product's variations, the images, and so forth. Everything was grabbed automatically from the supplier in less than one second and added to our Facebook store. So this is gonna save you a massive amount of time, especially when you're ready to start growing your store and scale. And once we are done optimizing, we're simply going to click on save and import. Now the product is being added to our Facebook store. And once it's ready, it'll move from the draft section to the product section of our store. And that is how we know that the product is now live on our Facebook shops. Here I am on the item section under the beauty inside commerce manager. Now under catalog, I clicked on items and here you can see all of the items on my store. These are the same products that you can see on my AutoDS products page. So the dog poop bags that we just added, you can see them right here in stock selling for $10.33. And if you see it right here on the products page, that is exactly what we have. The source price is $8.50 and the selling price is $10.30. Now, of course, this is not optimized. You shouldn't sell this cheap. You wanna actually make some profit. So what you wanna do here is open the variation settings. So I've got the product open right here, the editor, and I've got it open on variance. I'm going to click on edit and change my price to however much I wanna profit. This is only with a 15% profit margin when we have a break even of 5%. Now in this case, our break even is 0% because Facebook is giving us a promo until the end of the year, which is actually pretty soon. So right now the actual break even is 0%, but I'm gonna keep it at five just to make that extra amount of profit because once Facebook will start to take transaction fees, I want that covered. But instead of 1033, let's just change that for example to $11.99. Click on save and that will also show up on your Facebook account. Now, of course, there are many more ways to optimize your product through AutoDS. You also have price automation settings so you can increase the price on products that are selling well and decrease those on products that aren't moving so fast so that you can get them to sell more quickly and many more, many more settings that I will not get into now. So here are all of the products that we have on my Facebook shops right now. So that is how to use the single product importer. Now, let me show you how fun it is and how easy it is to be able to scale your business. After you did your product research and now you wanna grab a whole bunch of products, you found a product that's selling well on your store and now you wanna add many, many more products that are similar to it. Let's go for example, for let's say yellow dog collars are selling like crazy right now on your store. And this is just one of many, many examples. Now you can use any of AutoDS's supported suppliers. So head over to autods.com and click on the suppliers button to see how many dropshipping suppliers you can work with. You can go to their websites, grab their products and import them to your store in just a couple of seconds. So I clicked on suppliers here up top and here you can see about 25 dropshipping suppliers with tens and millions of products for you to import to your store. And of course we've got them in different regions all around the world. So you can target whatever audience you want, the US audience, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, United Kingdom, wherever you want, you can easily ship from warehouse houses all around the world using these suppliers. But for this example, I'm just gonna stick to Amazon just because of the great product results that they have. Okay, so small example of a niche that's selling well for you on your store. And now you don't wanna import them one by one. Of course, it still saves time when you import one by one with automation. But in this example, let's say you wanna grab the whole, all of the products that we're seeing on the search page right here. Okay, so you don't wanna do it one by one. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. First things first, you need to download and install the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension. So for that, simply search for AutoDS Helper on Google and the first search result should take you to the Chrome Web Store. 
to download and install the free Chrome extension. Now, in this case, I already have it installed, but you want to install it. And once you install it, you should see it right up here. I'm just going to pin it just so you can see it up here. Okay. And this is the Chrome extension. I have a lot of stores so you can see them all over here, but here you want to choose whatever store you want to import to. So here I'm going to click on beauty inside. That's the Facebook store. And I'm going to unclick the rest of the stores. Now that I have this store selected, I can use the one click importer from inside the product pages. Let me show an example of what I mean before I show you how you can grab all of the suppliers page, all of the search page that we have here. So you see when I'm hovering over these items, you see this icon right here. This is the import to AutoDS icon that's available through the AutoDS Chrome extension. Once I click on it, it'll add this product as a draft to the draft section of my AutoDS store. And it will do it directly to the Facebook store because that's what I have selected right here. So once I click on any of these one-click importers, it'll import it to the draft section of the selected store on the extension. By the way, that one-click importer, you also have it inside the product page above the product's title. Now let's say we want to grab all of the items on this page. So what are we going to do? We're going to click on the extension down here. And then we're going to click on extract. Now, all of the 51 products that we have, all of the 51 yellow dog colors that we have on this page, all of their product IDs got extracted into this extension. Now, of course, they're not all yellow, so we can, of course, filter that out later, but that's just a small example. So now I have all of their product IDs inside the extension. The next thing I can do is move on to page number two, page number three, and continue adding more and more products. And once you are done, once you are full with the product list and you're ready to add them to your store, you're simply going to click export as CSV. Now a CSV file was just created and downloaded onto my computer. The next step is to head back to the AutoDS platform and click on add products. Only this time, instead of going with a single product uploader, we're going to go with multiple products. Now here, there are two ways to do it. One is I can enter the product's URL or the product ID right here. So let's say this is the product ID. And let's say I got another product ID. So I'm just going to create a line break and add the second product ID here. It can also be the whole URL of the product. So URL, 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 and then click on add as drafts. But right now we're talking about the CSV. And this is how that is done. I clicked on upload CSV and here I'm going to click on it to open up my browser window and find that CSV file, double click on it. And the file is now uploaded. So that just took a couple of seconds. Now I'm going to click on add as a draft and then all of the products inside that CSV file will be uploaded into the drafts page of the beauty inside, which is my published to right here. So that's all that I'm going to do. Just going to click on add as a draft. And as you can see, the counter is going up and the items are being filled up as I speak. It's being done really, really quickly. If I click right here on view details, you can really track it one by one and see if there are any problems. If some items cannot be imported, like for example, we've got one right here. We can see that it doesn't want to add it because it says this product already exists in the draft section of your store and it doesn't want to import duplicates. And the rest of them are in progress. Some of them are already complete and it looks like in less than a minute, all of them were added. So let me just refresh this page. And lo and behold, it was really less than one minute on the clock. All of those 51 products are now imported into the draft section of my store. So I've got all these yellow dog collars and I can easily import them now to my Facebook shop store and start selling. That is how great it is and how easy it is to import multiple products to your store or even single products, whatever way you see fit to do it really easily and save a lot of time during the process. The higher you scale, the more time you'll save and the more sales and profit you will make. Now that we know the whole process of how we can add these products to our stores and how we can create the whole Facebook shops from beginning to end, let's talk about product research. This section is really important because if we're not doing the product research correctly, then we're simply not going to make lots of sales on our stores, if any. The product research needs to be on point. And one of the things that I love about Facebook is that they bring you a lot of free organic traffic. But there are still ways to promote our products and Facebook offers us all kinds of ways to promote our products like adding them to relevant Facebook groups or copying the URL of your products and linking to them on WhatsApp or on Instagram and of course, creating live video feeds, adding the products to your feed if you are the live type and people can purchase your products while you are talking to them about it. So there are many ways to do it and those are just some. But now let's talk about product research. This part, once again, is one of the most important parts when running your dropshipping business. Now, there are many ways to do it. And one of my favorite ways to start off 
is by simply going to a big, big supplier like Amazon and seeing what's selling well over there. So here we are on amazon.com. All I'm going to do is click on best sellers. And this is going to give me a great idea of what products are selling well right now on Amazon. And if I want to take it one step further, I'm going to click on movers and shakers to see the hottest products that have been ranking really high in the last 24 hours. So these are the freshest items, but we cannot sell everything that we have here. We need to know what we can sell as dropshippers and what is forbidden. Now, on the one hand, if you're trying to add products that are trademark copyrighted, there is an extra layer of protection on AutoDS. There's the Vero protection program. So if you're trying to add a product that you are not allowed to resell, you will get an, a warning message that will tell you what's the problem with this product and if you still want to continue with the import process with them. Now to help you with this, you can learn about the best Facebook categories for dropshipping. For that, I urge you to head over to the blog page at autods.com. So go to autods.com, hover over resources, click on dropshipping blog, and here you want to search for Facebook categories. But do stay updated on this blog because it's updating all the time with the latest and the greatest content in the world of dropshipping, including product finding, including what products to sell, case studies, interviews, podcasts, and so much more. Same goes for our YouTube channel. If you haven't checked that out yet, go to youtube.com slash autods, see the content that we have there and come back to thank me later. Now, here are the best Facebook marketplace categories for dropshipping, and this is going to help you get acquainted with the products, with the categories and the products inside them that you should be looking after, including the home and garden niche with all of its subcategories right here. Then you've got the family category. So here you've got babies and kids, health and beauty, pet supplies, toys and games, just away from big brands, trademark, copyrighted items and all of that. And you've also got electronics, which has some of the best subcategories for dropshipping, including car electronics, cell phone accessories, headphones, home audio and video systems, home automation systems, portable audio and video video, printers, scanners, fax machines, and security cameras. And we've got hobbies. So check out the subcategories there. I'm not going to go through all of them and clothing and accessories with all of its subcategories. Stick to those categories when starting off and learn your way up from there. Like Amazon devices and accessories, launch pad, magazine subscriptions, movies and TV. Stay away from all of those categories because they are not fit for the dropshipping business model. So here we are in the movers and shakers. And what we want to do is go to a dropshipping category that is fit for the business model. So I just clicked on kitchen and dining. And here you have items that you can start to sell today on your Facebook shop store. So all of these items are great for the dropshipping business model. Try them out. This is the first way to start your product research phase. So you start by testing a whole bunch of items and after about a month, see what got sales and multiply your success by adding more products that are similar to those that are selling for you while still continuing to test the market until you start to make a crazy amount of sales. And once you find a specific niche that's working really well for you, this is a good time to consider creating a niche store. Okay, so my first advice is to start general and then go to a niche store once you start making some sales, but a good amount of sales in one specific niche. If it's a season niche, then keep it general until you find a niche that's evergreen, that's selling all year long, and that is not seasonal. The second way to conduct product research, and this is a really simple one, you have a product research tool integrated inside the AutoDS system. On the AutoDS system, on the top left, you want to click on those dots and move over to the product research system. Here you will see the best sellers that we're adding to this database on a day-to-day -day basis. So once again, you've got very, very trendy products inside the product research system, and it's very easy to add products from here to your Facebook store. All you have to do is hover over the product that you want and click on import product. But first, of course, you can read about it. For example, check out these pictures right here. We've got a shipping time of two to three business days. And if you click on it, you'll have more information about this product inside. So we've got the product's title, 4.9 out of five star reviews, which means people who purchased it are very, very happy about it with 37 reviews. And you can read about the product's information. So the product info, specifications, its shipping policies, return policies, reviews, and more products that are similar to it. So if you started getting sales from this product, add other pictures that are similar to it. So once again, you have all the best information right here for what products are trending. Simply click on import product and it'll import to your store that you have selected here. In this example, my Facebook store. You also have US suppliers, China suppliers, holiday products to prepare for upcoming holidays, new products, and popular products that are selling a lot that have a lot of positive reviews. This will help you get a very good idea of what products are trending, what products are selling, and also add them to your store 
in just a click and a couple of seconds. My third advice for product research is to simply head over to youtube.com slash AutoDS and look for a playlist called Sell These Now. This one is updating all the time with the hottest products to sell. Look at the amount of videos that we have inside this playlist and it's once again constantly updating all the time with the newest and best trends, what to sell, and once again, that's a great way to find them. Another one is to once again, head back to our blog page and click on the product finding and best sellers category. Here we're also sharing with you the best selling products. So that's another way to find what products you should be selling, get the best product ideas for your store and start to work your way up from there. Now there are plenty of more methods to conduct product research on your stores, but start with those basics and that will be enough to start getting your first sales and working your way up from there. Once we're done researching our products, importing them to our stores, it's just a matter of time before we actually start getting some sales. And once that happens, we need to fulfill them and send the product to our customer's address. Now there are a few ways to do this. The first way is to do it manually. Simply log into your supplier's website, purchase the product, add it to your cart, and in the shipping details, make sure to add your buyer's details. So you're going to ship it directly to the end customer. Now, if you're dropshipping from places like Amazon or AliExpress, you can opt for gift packaging so that the buyer will not see the order number and how much you paid for it and all of that. And the way to do this is to simply add the product to your cart, check out, and ship the product directly to your end customer. Okay, so you don't have to look at the product, you don't have to ship it to yourself first, simply go to your supplier's website, add the product to your cart, opt in for gift packaging. So if you're dropshipping from places like AliExpress, you can send the seller a message and tell him that this is a dropshipping order and that you do not wish him to send the product's receipt and all of that, and they will comply because they are very supportive to the dropshipping business model. Other suppliers do not really support the dropshipping business model, so be careful who you choose to dropship from and know the best suppliers before you actually get started. And if you wanna learn who are the best suppliers, just head back to our blog page. And in this case, I'm going to click on Facebook because I only wanna see Facebook articles and I will search for Facebook suppliers. Here you've got the six best Facebook marketplace dropshipping suppliers to use for beginners. So start off with these suppliers and take it slow. My personal suggestion is to not start with Amazon because they have been locking buyer accounts recently when you have too many orders under one account. Now there are ways to go about this, but if you're a beginner, skip them and move on to more dropshipping friendly suppliers like CJ Dropshipping, who have warehouses all around the world, who started off just in China, and you've also got Overstock, you've also got Wayfair, you've also got AliExpress. So this article can help you with some of those suppliers, but there are many, many more suppliers that you can use. If you wanna take, once again, my personal recommendation, then these are the suppliers that I recommend to start with. AliExpress, Banggood, CJ Dropshipping, Overstock, Wayfair, and you can also go with Alibaba which AliExpress is the, is the sister site to Alibaba. Alibaba is actually a wholesale supplier that can actually manufacture the goods for you and can also help you private label them if you have enough sales. But even without it, if you're gonna stick with the regular dropshipping business model, the white label business model, that is perfectly fine. You can use AliExpress. They also have suppliers who ship out items one by one and that don't require a minimum order quantity, but you also have both of them. But keep in mind that on AliExpress, you have both kinds of suppliers. Those that actually re require a minimum order quantity and those that will drop ship one by one. So look for those who can drop ship one by one. And that is the last supplier from this list that I recommend to work with who are super dropshipping friendly and you can purchase even a hundred items from them every day and they will not be locking your accounts or doing anything that you will not be comfortable with later on down the road. And of course, you always wanna work with more than one dropshipping supplier simultaneously because if one ever lets you down, like if you're working with a Chinese supplier and now we have some Chinese holidays and they won't be able to ship out your items for the next couple of weeks, you wanna be able to rely on another supplier that will be able to fill in that gap for you. So always work with around two to three dropshipping suppliers at the same time. And when one lets you down, you can always rely on the other. So once again, you get an order, go to your supplier's website, add to cart, purchase, and ship it to your end customer. Your buyer will be happy. And the more orders you have, the more messages you're also going to get. We may have some drawbacks now and then, but that is the small one to 3% of our total orders. But that still is something that we need to take care of. Care for your customers, listen to them, check out your email inbox, check out your Facebook messenger and see what messages your buyers are sending you. Many of them are people who are interested in purchasing these products from your store. And they'll simply ask you a small question before continuing to check out. So you will get more sales conversions by checking your customers 
customers messages and for the long-term survivability and success of your store you want to offer promotions you want to take care of your customers you want to allow them to return items if you also can return it to your supplier you don't want to delay answering them and of course you don't want to skip on answering them answer each and every one of your customers even if it's not very comfortable even if it's not very suitable for you you are running a serious business here and if you want to keep them for the long run you want to take care of all of your customers so check out your email inbox check out your messenger make sure that you're answering all of your customers and this should be the cherry on the top for your facebook dropshipping business that is your step-by-step -step process of how to create a facebook shop store how to automate it so that you can scale your store successfully and really make it to the high numbers and profits and also how to conduct product research the right way so that your products will start to sell and you won't spend days and days and weeks and weeks trying to figure out how to even start product research and how to find those products that will sell on your store if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i will answer them and good luck in making it this far it shows that you are serious in creating a successful facebook shop store and once again i am right here when you need me and i also host live q a's every two weeks so that you can ask me all your questions and i answer all of them there personally in the live q a's as well as the comments below this video don't forget to like and share this video if you appreciate the value good luck with facebook shops and let me know how it went